Some time ago I was working on a project which required handling PWM signal and I could not find a simple guide on the internet so I decided to make a video about it to help others. However, I realized that my code and video was a bit too involved and not an easy tutorial. I am now revisiting it and I'll show you how to decode the PWM signal with a simple library which I will link to in the description. First you need to make sure that you download the latest library from my GitHub account and copy the source code and header files into your project folder. Then you need to include the header file in your project and create a PWM object. I am calling it my PWM. I am also including the serial.begin line and it will help me see the values in the serial monitor. I initialize the object by using PWM um, begin function and the first value here is the digital pin that I'm using for the PWM and the second value is the state I am using. If you're using a normal PWM, then the state will be 1 and it will represent the duration of the high pulse. But if you change that value to 0, then it will initialize the system to detect the zero pulses or the inverse PWM. I'll leave this value to be 1 since I know that I'm working with a normal PWM. In the loop function, I just print the PWM value to the serial window and I wait every 100 milliseconds between doing that. And once the upload is complete, you can see that I'm getting all the PWM values. And as I increase the throttle, since the pin 2 is connected to a throttle channel, um, I get a range from 2000 microseconds at the maximum and about 1000 microseconds at the minimum, which is exactly what I would expect. Now, if you need to read more than one PWM signals, then what you need to do is create multiple instances of the same PWM um, and name them accordingly. Then you need to initialize each of them separately. Um, and what you need to be careful here is that you only use the pins available on a board that can support and interrupt. For example, these are all the pins available on Arduino Mega Board um, that attach interrupt function will work with. So once you've done that, you can simply go into the loop um, and as an example here, I'm printing all of these values again to the serial monitor. Um, and when I press upload, you will see all the values show up. And that's um, all six of those channels that my receiver is able to send. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps.